record setting crowd. Hollywood, not California, not Florida. Maryland. Luxurious Hollywood, Maryland. Our first stop in the MCW Winter Blast Tour. Oh, what a night it has been. We saw the Mecca Brian Johnson talk his way out of the main event picture. And it Here looks the like best jacket in wrestling right now. The Mile High Magnum is reaping the rewards of the big mouth of Brian Johnson because now he has Ken Dixon one on one in a heavyweight title match. Do you think that works in the favor of Dak Draper? Like he was him him and Ken, they were preparing for a tag team match and now Dak has the opportunity to walk out tonight as the heavyweight champion. I think it is preferable to have a heavyweight title shot any day of the week than a tag team match. And Ken Dixon though, I gotta think he was coming in here prepared for tag team competition. Now he finds himself in his very first MCW heavyweight title defense. I'm gonna correct you. Ken Dixon came in here ready to fight yep. and he's still gonna have a fight. So Ken Dixon lost nothing on this. He's probably already had little bush light. But that's just part for the course. To the man that so apropos called himself a human tire fire. Ken Dixon with that gold around his waist. And it look it looks great around his waist. He's in the best shape of his life. He's got more moxie, more fight in him than ever before. And we saw at last call, history was made. Mecca Championship Wrestling was no more. And the Ken Dixon era of MCW, as he took the reins, took the torch, and now carries it proudly wherever MCW goes. The challenger, he is from Denver, Colorado. And he is right at 245 pounds. He is the Mile High Magnum, Jack Draper. That is a tall drink of water and a tall, tall order for Ken Dixon. Ken Dixon coming off of a career threatening injury. He had a fractured cervical, AKA a broken neck. Didn't know if he'd ever be able to compete again. He's had to reevaluate his goals. He's had to change his style. But guess what? It was all for the best. The comeback. Greater than the setback. Greater than the setback. You said it. Hell of a sound bite there. The comeback is greater than the setback. Ken Dixon went on to become, for the first time ever, the MCW heavyweight champion. And we know he's had many years of trying to climb that mountain, but to no avail. And he finally did so at MCW last call. And Ken has gone on record to say that he doesn't know how many miles he has left on his body, but he's going to give everything to the MCW fans, and he may have to give everything he's got to take down the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. Mile High Magnum is what he calls himself, not only because he's from Denver, Colorado, but also because he stands at six foot six. He weighs about 255, 260. The guy is cut from granite. He was built to be a professional wrestler and built, quite possibly destined to become the MCW Heavyweight Champion. I've said it before, Kim, it's not a matter of if, but more likely a matter of when a guy like Dak Draper wins the big one. We'll find out, it could be tonight. It could be moments away from it. Well, he was gonna get his opportunity before the world shut down and now, Almost two years later, he finally gets his opportunity at the MCW Championship. May 
maybe perhaps two years wiser, two years more experienced, two years more dangerous and prepared. As a deep, brutal blocking horns with the collar and elbow tie-up. Look at this. Each combatant, each gladiator trying to get that first blood, that first significant advantage. You don't see that often. A brutal tie-up. Well, it's smart on Dak's part. If Ken's got a history of a neck injury, why wouldn't you wrap that hand around that neck and pull him around by his head? You know, most people would probably be intimidated by somebody like Dak Draper. I'm not sensing that with Ken. Have you ever seen Ken Dixon intimidated by anything? He's too tough to be smart and too tough to be intimidated. <laughs> you want to scare Ken Dixon, you bring out an empty beer cooler. Aside from that, <laughs> you're not scaring the man. Ken Dixon been in some wars here in MCW. We've seen how deep into the bag of tricks. We've seen how dark Ken Dixon's willing to get. But something happened. <laughs> so, like a miracle happened. Like the Grinch's heart grew ten times its normal size. Ken Dixon started to become popular with our MCW faithful. Ken Dixon began to get the, hold on, shoulders of Dak Draper down in a one count, started to get the loudest reactions of anybody here at MCW. Ken Dixon, mentored by the bruiser R.J. Meyer, he has decided in his comeback story to take the reins and become the guy in MCW. Whoa! Dak Draper coming down from up high with that knee, nobody home. Well, you know, with the Bruiser, there was a match, and, he, and people felt it. They responded to it. It was why everything he did was as powerful. It was real. And something has happened where that maybe the supernatural uh, torch has turns. been. Right. And, and Ken has that magic now, and they feel it, and they want it. And they can only see good things happening for this guy. We've got lightning in a bottle for Ken Dixon, and he has had the opportunity and has made good on that opportunity when he became the MCW Heavyweight Champion. But what you gonna do with it now? Wow. The hardest part isn't getting to the top of the mountain, it's staying there. And especially when you have a man the size of a mountain on your back. Just doing push-ups, just because. I don't do push-ups to work out, much less <laughs> on the back of somebody else. That's a humiliation 101. Ken Dixon though, Able to snatch that side headlock. Had to jump though to do so. Oh, on the drop down. Look for Ken to lay the leather to the Mile High Magnum. You take away that vertical advantage, Ricky. Mile High Magnum doesn't have much to fight him off. Well, if you're going to try to embarrass him by doing a push up on his back, yeah, you better expect that from Ken just to stomp you out. Yeah, forget the magic. Sometimes just a couple of <laughs> rapid fire boots to your face will work. Better to be lucky than good most of the time. Here comes Ken, though, with that line. Ken Dixon. We don't see him uh, utilizing those ropes in that manner very often. Surprising us. Ken Dixon, more of a, almost like a, a, a goon, a, 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 a mugging, a street brawling based arsenal. Just ground and pound. Whereas... Dak Draper, a little more finesse in his offense and defense. But I don't know, all the finesse and pretty in the world ain't gonna protect you from a history of violence being unloaded onto the chest of Dak Draper. Yeah, advantage goes to Dixon when they're out on the floor. Like yeah, you're not gonna win a fist fight. That's with like Dixon. taking him to his playground. Bringing a knife to a gunfight. Dak Draper being great. Unintended. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, it, it's so stupid when it happens and you don't mean for it. Hashtag announcer love. <laughs> announcer problems. Speaking of problems, Ken Dixon showing that he's a problem to Dak Draper. Mike Keener. Letting these two duke it out for the richest prize in MCW, that heavyweight championship. Unless you're a woman. And then it is that women's title 
around the waist of Ray Lynn. We just saw had her problems with Gia Scott. And that crossbody. Oh, oh man. Ass over T Kettle. Ken Dixon, did you see he was upside down at one point? Could have easily broken that neck again. Well, Dak may have actually injured that wrist. It got caught up in the ropes as they were going over. That is a lot of muscle and bone structure and physicality launching itself to the outside without any control. I'm surprised that wasn't a crash and burn. Even worse than it really was. Hold on. The leg is hooked by Dak Draper. Well, it was definitely a crash. The other two count. Dak Draper trying to cement the advantage. And once he does so, look for the, as he would say, shift gears, turn up the heat on Ken Dixon and try to keep the champ down. Draper, Ring of Honor, stand out. Ring of Honor top prospect winner. And he would love to add MCW heavyweight champion to his resume. You look at the guy, he's a star in presentation, in physicality, in athleticism. And what an addition a heavyweight title would be to the ensemble that is Dak Drake. It would go nicely with the jacket. <laughs> with that jacket. Let, let us not forget the jacket. But a mistake here. Like, leave the people alone. You've got your hands full with that man behind you. I was going to say, he needs to kind of take a lesson from history. The last person that started to antagonize the crowd instead of focusing on Dixon, Ken became the heavyweight champion. We're, of course, talking about the man that talked himself out of the heavyweight title main event picture and into a match with the ECW original franchise Shane Douglas earlier tonight. Of course, the Mecca, Brian Johnson. Look at Dak Ooh. Draper again with that knee. Man, he, 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 I think you're right, Ricky. I think he injured that hand or that wrist when he crossbody Dixon and himself to the outside. With a toothless smile, a grimace rather, of Ken Dixon. Dak Draper doesn't even need to get down on one knee. That vertical base allows him to maintain control at all times. And leverage. And, and leverage. And there is power in leverage. He, he can manipulate his opponents very easily. It's a game of leverage, you're right. When you're in there with Dak Draper, Ken Dixon learning that the hard way in his first title defense. Man, this, this crowd is really getting under Dak's skin, though. Oh, the single leg by Dixon. Dixon firing up. I know Dixon still has some trouble with some tingling in his fingertips. So he says, all the better. I can't feel my fist when I'm throwing it. I'm going to punch it till my hand hurts, and I can't feel my hand. <laughs> Dixon on the outside. The worst for wear. Heavyweight title on the line. Dak Draper, I mean, his head should be in this. He should focus up on Ken Dixon. What the hell is Dak Draper thinking? I know we have a record crowd here in Hollywood, Maryland, but give me a break, man. You want to leave with that title. Not often you hear the shame on you chant. Shame on you, Dak. For the jacket, mostly. Tearing Ken Dixon <laughs> like a baby. You don't Ooh. see that. You don't see many people Can you manhandle Ken Dixon. Can you imagine Ken Dixon as a baby? He might have had more teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and the bottle was different. I'm willing to bet the bottle was different. This is, if you're ever wondering why we pay Kim to the big bucks, folks, that is why that Draper knows he can't win this title. All too eager to remind him of that fact. Yeah, but I don't think he can win it unless he focuses on Ken instead of this crowd. Yeah, I mean, unless he's going... Oh! Ooh! Oh, Ray 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 got him in the throat! Yeah. Uh, Must be true if we said it together. <laughs> unless Jack Draper plans on fighting about six, seven hundred plus, he needs to stay focused. 
and the bearded brawler. Yeah, I think, I know the Dak usually says the shame on you. I think that's what's uh, thrown him off. Oh, he doesn't like having his catchphrase yelled at him? I mean, he's proven to have pretty thin skin for a top main event competitor. He has spent more time jaw jacking with the fans than he has focused on winning the MCW heavyweight title. But I'm sure, Ricky, if you ask Dak Draper, he says he's able to do both. Well, he believes that he has the talent, he has all the skills necessary to be heavyweight champion, but he's got to focus on Ken, pin, or make him submit in the ring to do it. Talent plus hard work plus timing equals success in professional wrestling. Dak has the t talent. Dak has the the hard work down for sure. Look at him. The guy's carved out of granite. The timing is now, though. This is his opportunity. Can he put away? Dixon. Four leg hook. And Dixon fighting out at two. You don't know when another opportunity will present itself, will it ever? And you know, you mentioned earlier that every kick out takes out of the guy that had to kick out. I'd be covering him as much as possible. With that six foot six frame across Absolutely. Your, your, your chest, every time you try to power out of it, you're exerting that energy. You're, you're, you're spending wind. You're going to get gassed. You're going to get blown up. And instead, he's given Ken time to recover because he's worried about what the people think of him. Swing and a miss. Well, Dak enjoyed that. Dak is enjoying this because he loves when a plan is coming together and it looks like it has done so. Ken Dixon, heavyweight champion, at the feet of the Mile High Magnum, at the foot of the mountain, the gut wrench. There's that amateur wrestling background from Dak Draper. Dixon trying to block it though. And I think he's trying to hook the stretch muffler. Oh. Oh my God, that'll pull your damn femur right out of your hip socket. Usually they have the their opponent down on the ground, but Dak just holding him up in the air. I mean, do you know, like how painful would it be to have your leg popped out of socket from your pelvis? I mean, I, that may be the case here. Ken Dixon is being just systematically broken down. Dak and Draper, again, messing yeah. around with these people. Well, it hasn't bit him in the ass yet, excuse my language. Well, you use the word yet. Dixon mm -hmm. dodging the bullet. Again. Trying to get that temper flaring on Dak Draper. I think he's trying to get feeling back in his leg. After that stretch muffler, look for it! The bruise plex, T-bone style. Dixon! Starting to muster some sort of second wind. And Ken just stomping the facial features right off the GQ head of Dak Draper. Oh man. Dixon. Doesn't care about finesse. He don't care if it's pretty. This man knows how to win ugly. And he chopped that tree down. Just physically imposing his draper though. He doesn't even like, he's still at the top rope when he's oh kneeling. Oh! Gosh. Belly to back suplex. And that stalling for that period of time, letting Ken think about it, adding to the impact. This is the moment that both men desperately need to get to their feet. Mike Keener instituting the standard 10 count. Battling from their knees. Heavyweight title on the line. Dixon defending against the challenger Draper. Hard right forearms exchange back and forth. Who will get the better of this exchange? 
Well, we're heading to a brawl, and the money goes to Ken Dixon at will. Never mind, that'll stop you every time. Well, just when you're as talented Whoa. as Draper, the gut wrench powerbomb to new champ. A millisecond, a fraction of a second in time. And we almost crowned a new heavyweight champion here in Hollywood, Maryland at Winter Glass. Dak, there he goes again. Back, back with the fans, back with the crowd. Dak Draper, the Mile High Magnum from the Rockies, knows what it is to stand at the top of the mountain. But he if, wants that crowning achievement in the title, Ricky. I was going to say, I wonder if it's a form of confidence. He feels like he has Ken where he wants him. Well, not anymore. Snap power slam with authority, the cover, and a two count on Draper. Dixon shaking off the cobwebs. Dixon mustering up that comeback Ooh. cannot put the big man up on his shoulders oh but Draper's head collides with that top turnbuckle oh boy and a two count there that's a disadvantage to being tall hold on though there's an advantage the backslide on Dixon another two count but that boot caught by Dixon oh hard right hand Draper trying to put the finishing touches on the MCW champ. And again, Dixon. Pure power and instinct, but Draper has a fish hook on Dixon. Trying to go for that sunset flip. Hooks the legs, this could do it. Whoa. Daddy long legs, Draper kicking oh. out. Oh, oh. Like a I-95 head on collision. Both men have that same idea with that clothesline, just met, oh, again. Like a dump truck meeting a school bus in the fast lane going opposite directions. Northbound dump truck meeting a southbound school bus. I was going to say it was like an oil truck in a water truck. I like it. I like it. Just redundancy with truck. We're stuck in the truck. We're stuck in the truck. <laughs> And Ken Dixon needs to keep on trucking. <laughs> Jack Draper <laughs> stuck in the prone position. Both men. Nobody really got the advantage on that clothesline. They just collapsed. Boy, I mean, it took out whatever was left in the tank for both individuals. Collapsing in a heap of humanity in our main event. Third MCW Winter Blast, the first stop in our tour. Oh, oh wait a second! It. What the hell? It was too good to be true. I thought he had talked his way out of the main event. What the hell is he doing? Ruining he our main snuck event. Snuck his way back into the main event. The angry troll resurfaces. And Dak Draper got to be... Dak Draper rightfully pissed. I mean, he... he he potentially had this one in the bag. He said it. He said Brian cost him the championship. Spoiling the first title defense for Ken Dixon. Spoiling the heavyweight title opportunity for Dak Draper. The mecca Brian Johnson. It looks like he's got another spoil ahead of him. He is in his own world. Looking for the belt shot. No! Dixon has him up! And oh. dumps him! This is not the ending to that battle that any of us wanted to see. Dixon, though, with the stunner. Mile high stunner. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, the taller they are, the, fall, the further they fall. Yeah, you think? The taller they are, the further they fall. And the hotter the action, the more flabbergasted Brent will get. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll get it right next time. What a night. Well, there's a man who got it right tonight. Still your heavyweight champ. Still carrying the torch. Ken Dixon reigning supreme in our first stop of the NCW Winter Blast Tour. Here on Rage. 
TV for Ricky Owens and Kimberly Payne. My name is Brent Terry. We will see you at Winter Blast, Glen Burnie. This has been MCW.